What's up guys, Split and Wigs back with another video. Today we are going over latency, lag, and packet loss. Now I get this question all the time in my other videos where I'm talking about like uh, rubber banding, stutters, things like that, which is usually PC or console related. Um, so this one though, you know, usually when you're having these issues, it's almost always something with your internet guys. Um, you know, especially the packet loss and, and lag. Um, in fact, I left this up on the screen. I didn't know what else to show. Something you guys can skim through or read on the background here. It's straight from Activision support, uh, letting you know how things work. Uh, but anyway, as soon as you're having issues and you're getting like the packet loss thing showing up and you're just having issues in general, use the link below. I put an internet speed test link down there that I like. It seems to be really consistent, works well. I've never had issues, um, but that's the first thing you want to do. You start having issues, test your up and down speeds, and you're going to need, uh, I would say, 25 down and five up now i know that seems like a lot um but in this day and age um that's gonna kind of be the minimum for a game like warzone because warzone's just a big game and it's it's tough to run so 25 down five up is your min uh if you if that's really all you're getting no matter what you do you're gonna probably have these issues and they're not gonna really go away but still stick around there's stuff that i that will help you um help everyone really um because i was running into issues with this as well but when I call my internet service provider, um, you know, they told me these things to check. Um, the first thing they told me to check is go out to the box and check the coaxial cable, make sure it's screwed in tight, nothing's damaged or ruined or bugs got in there or whatever. Check that coaxial cable the whole way until it gets to your modem. Track it the whole way, make sure there's no damage. Um, and then check your ethernet cables, they told me, make sure they look good, plugged in tight, no damage to those. Replace them if you have others, they did tell me that. And then also, the big one is your firmware, they told me. Firmware is, is, is huge. Um, your modem and router can have out-of-date firmware that will affect your internet and affect your performance, especially for gaming. Um, so, you know, if you want me to do a video of how to find firmware and things like that, um, I will. Uh, but there's stuff like that on YouTube or, you know, most people I think do know how to check that. Um, but if not, let me know in the comments. I'll cover it. I'll make a video. Would love to. Uh, help you guys out so and if you do go on to learn anything new please like the video it helps out the YouTube algorithm a lot and uh, you know much appreciated but the other thing too that you can do outside of getting new hardware by the way which you can do I did it did help some I got a new modem a new router it did help especially getting a gaming router which I'll link that at the end of the video I do have, I have a review on my NetDoom R2 phenomenal router um, but what you can do is make sure that your NAT type is open and your port forwarding is correct. If you want me to cover that as well, I'll make a video, let me know in the comments. If not, check YouTube. Other people have covered it in depth and done good, excellent videos on that stuff. But you need to make sure your NAT type is open, port forwarding is correct, all of your wiring is good, all your firmware is up to date, and just exactly know what your speeds are. Check the links in the description. Watch one of the other videos on your screen right now. Splitting wigs out. I'll catch you on the next one.